Jobs. Elon Musk, an American billionaire, recently revealed his new girlfriend, which has sparked an interest. Who is the lucky lady? Isn't it cool that this new girlfriend is a Tesla female humanoid? Is Elon's loneliness exposed by this AI girlfriend's qualification to be a partner to this brilliant tech guru? Join me in this video as we look at Elon Musk's relationship with his new AI girlfriend, the Tesla female humanoid. Since getting into coding and AI, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has become obsessed with bots. Because human problems and miseries do not seem to end, there appears to be no end to innovation and discovery in technology. As they say, necessity is the mother of invention, and this is exactly what inspired the tech billionaire to create his exciting female bot. Elon Musk realized that the best solution for this would be a refined and perfect friend to fill the gap in a friendship after a series of breakups and a lot of time in loneliness. As a result, his first female gynoid will be flooding the streets of America, and Elon Musk is expected to create more of these female bots to help them cope with loneliness. But the question here is whether these female bots will satisfy humans' desire for friendship. That is a question that this video will attempt to answer as we learn more about this female bot and the issues that surround it. Anyways, first and foremost, Elon Musk decided to announce his first female bot at the launch of Tesla's Optimus. Tesla's first bot, as its improvement, said, naturally, there would be a cat girl version of Optimus Robot, adding that the cat girl would be a more sophisticated version of the Tesla Optimus in a thousand aspects. How much more advanced will the Tesla female bot be than its male counterpart Optimus? Let's just say the female bot, also known as the Gynoid, can do twice as much as Optimus. So, what are the Tesla Gynoid's capabilities? Prepare to be astounded. The Gynoid is 100 and 173 centimeters tall and has the physique of a human, so it can perform most chores and roles that a human can. Tesla has for a long time made cars, however, decided to make Tesla bots as an improvement of its cars. You see one thing with cars is that they are sort of limited as compared to the human shape and form with a human form. It is easier to perform varied tasks that would be necessarily limited to a car. After all, the human environment is well designed for things and features that have a human structure and that is where a female humanoid comes in. Now, this humanoid was created to perform boring and repetitive tasks that humans would otherwise not like. Doesn't that sound interesting you've not heard? Half of it would involve the female humanoid performing dangerous tasks that would otherwise endanger the life of a human being, one of which is linked to Elon Musk's ambition of making life multiplanetary. With this goal in mind, the tech tycoon must send some people who can help us understand what it's like to live on Mars. The best personnel for this job would be the female humanoids who are capable of surviving and pretty much any kind of environment, however harsh. Anyhow, while we are still inhabitants of the big blue ball, the female humanoids will be a good help for going to the grocery store. Sometimes going for groceries can be such a boring task, or sometimes there's just no time in the day for getting these necessities. But Elon Musk has finally solved the problem. What's more, you will not have to worry about how to prepare your food. The female Tesla humanoid is trained to cook the most sumptuous homemade meals. Smells yummy. There are thousands of recipes around the world that you could try with the Tesla female bot, which for your information is an expert at cooking. You'll have to wait and taste what the Tesla humanoid will give. The list of what this bot can do still continues. It could even clean your entire house, mow the lawn, and take care of old people very comfortably so. You wouldn't even have to worry about anything. The technology infused in this bot is seamlessly perfect in many ways. Elon Musk was dreaming of having safer and more practical bots that would live and merge comfortably with humanity, but settling for a female bot has brought with it some negative critics, and it is expected humans have different opinions about it. Some could be as negative as well as interesting. The most expected reaction is, of course, that having a female bot is sort of objectifying women. Most recently, the proliferation of female bots has taken new heights, as there are quite a number of female bots as compared to male bots. If I ask you to name the bots you know, I'm sure you'll mention more female named bots than male named bots. But you are not to blame. This is simply how things have turned out. We cannot ignore the fact that major corporations have created their own versions of female bots. For example, we are all familiar with Sophia, a female virtual assistant similar to Siri for Apple, Cortana for Microsoft, Alexa for Amazon, and of course, Tesla's giant. This preference for female bots has brought this new view that so much feminization is brought into the AI industry. It assumes that women are more objectified than men. Some people think that it tends to degrade the view of women as mere objects who can be used as property for someone. 
However, this is not the case behind making female bots. It is not even the reason why Tesla decided to settle for female bots. The fact that people attribute more humanity to women than men explains the gender imbalance in AI that has prompted harsh criticism of AI. Women are perceived to be warmer and kinder than their male counterparts, who are more unruly and rough. So the bid to make more female bots is motivated by the warmth of experience of people who will want to acquire the bots for themselves, rather than competence. Taking that interview implies that female bots are seen to be endowed with more positive human qualities than male bots. This is the main reason why female bots are favored over their male counterpart, says they are strongly associated with humanness. Yet, this still takes us back to what people say is objectifying females. Feelings are the basis of humanness and women are perceived to be more likely to experience feelings than men. We could post that gendering female AI could make them look more human. However, this could be the process of transforming women into objects, thus leading to women's objectification. This could as well insinuate that women are objects designed to fulfill their owner's needs. This is the ethical quandary that AI faces in designing female bots. The results are not that encouraging for the future of gender parity, and the only option would be moving toward the gender-neutral side to avoid the sure end of objectifying women. This is not the only criticism that Elon Musk has had to deal with for settling for a female bot. Many people are raising their brows as they suspect that Elon Musk is planning to replace human labor with female bots. It is not surprising for people to think things this way, as the world's richest man has given them all the reasons to think towards these lines. Just how is that possible? All of Elon Musk's companies are notorious for massive layoffs. Tesla and Twitter have practically felt the heavy blow of layoffs most recently. Just a few days ago, Elon Musk laid off 4,000 employees from Twitter. Following such a massive slash of employees, you are only left to wonder how on earth Elon Musk would supply that labor gap. The only possible explanation is AI since you cannot reclaim 4,000 new employees in a day. Adopting AI for work is nothing new for Elon Musk as he has already done this for Tesla. If you didn't know, 75% of Tesla is automated or at least is helped by some kind of cutting-edge AI technology. It would take some time for this tech genius to get things running on Twitter using AI. Should we be concerned with the way things are going? Is this a foreshadowing of what will happen in the future with the adoption of AI to some extent? We will see a significant significant introduction of AI in several industry series, but this does not necessarily imply that they will replace humans in the labor market. Some tasks will never be replaced by machines, even if it takes centuries. If you were hoping that the Tesla female bots would replace humans in procreation, you'd be mistaken. Up to this moment, science has studied life, but has never come to a conclusive definition of life. As such, no work has been able to invent life or even its propagation. As a result, bots will never be able to replace humans in procreation. Furthermore, the human body and its intricate workings remain a mystery to science and technology. And we cannot talk about AI replacing humans anytime soon until these mysteries are solved. So, does this imply that Elon Musk does not have a female humanoid girlfriend? Yes, humans are irreplaceable in these regards. However, we could be on the lookout for the Tesla female robots, which are said to be out soon. The Tesla CEO said the Robot Works is in progress and could be out on the market in a few years. The bot appeared on stage during a Silicon Valley event, where it waved to the audience and raised its knees. We are expecting that the bots will be first tested by working jobs in car factories, as they will be fundamental for civilization. Elon Musk projected that the possible cost of the bot would be somewhere lower than $20,000. Yet Tesla is working to make the prices lower than that to meet a wider market gap. With Elon Musk's new bot, we can only say hello to the future of abundance. What are your thoughts on Tesla's new female bot? Will it solve the loneliness problem? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Anyway, if you want to see more interesting videos, just click the video above. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss out on the latest Elon Musk news.